Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for SH Figure Arts. We have Perfect Cell. This is a premium color edition. In a nutshell, it's the recolored of the existing cell that they had way back. Way back. I do have that and I will do a little bit of comparison. And I got this uh, from my recent visit to Tatsu Hobby. I'll provide the link down below if you're looking to get some. And here we go. I've actually opened it up already. There should be like plastics on the shoulder area and the joints on the waist. I've already taken that out. So uh, here we go. Nice box as always. And here. And uh, we are getting the same effect bars that it came out uh, when it was first released. So that's great. Uh, nothing too different on this one. And uh, along with that, people still have the same... <laughs> concerns and issue of the first cell. Uh, I myself would like to be to have a bit more bulkier cell as we've seen in the anime. This is not quite menacing as he should be. Yeah, unfortunately, but I'm getting it uh, just for <laughs> the sake of uh, the collection. Um, actually, I prefer this uh, particular color scheme. Uh, in terms of a bit more vivid than the other one which is a bit more bland but I think for Cell, I mean I actually like the original colors um, aside from uh, you know the premium color version here I, I like them both um, to be honest anyways that's it for the box let's take a look inside alright so here's what's inside as much as I want to go everything it's it's the same as the Cell before so uh, not much to go in terms of the accessories. I mean, uh, just looking at here, I mean, let's take a look at first. You get the the base, you get the splash effect parts. Uh, you can kind of see some of the rocks getting <laughs> blown away. You get the Kamehameha effect part there, which is one of the good ones. And you have a, a stand here to kind of have this uh, in, in air. So that's the base there. For the fact, it's not really a base. Well, I guess you can kind of put cell in there, but it doesn't have the waist grabbing arm thing that you can use. It's mainly for the effect part. All right. So aside from that, we have this. Uh, you have can have the cross arms here, which I've kind of grown to like. Um, it's better to have this on if you want to do that pose as opposed to just putting the arms together. Which I've been doing because I'm lazy to put that on and I'm not too fond of the idea of popping the arm joint off and doing so. So you can kind of do it. It's not too bad in this, well actually in this particular figure and some of them it's kind of hard to do. So yeah, it just depends on you. Other than that you get a variety of hands. You get a key blast. You have this particular hand here. Uh, for the Kamehameha, uh, there's like a uh, different for the right hand here for that kind of pose as well as uh, this one here. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Oh, for the face, you have the one that uh, has the smirk smile on him. You get the one uh, shouting. And uh, you have one more of the neutral, uh, like that look on him. Yeah. Alright, so for comparison, uh, let's do a comparison with uh, Goku and the old cell. Here we go. And to, to be honest, I still like the first one. And I think it's the color of the purple. I think that's what gets me on with the new one. I like the bright green. And actually, I like the premium color edition version. Basically, it's more vivid. Uh, just a lot more. You get a rich color in terms of the... You know, the characters, uh, we've seen that uh, with Gohan, Vegeta, Goku. I like that version more compared to the kind of like more of a bland style with the earlier release. But the problem with that is the color that they pick sometimes, like this one, the purple, it, it's, it strikes out. Uh, in terms of his waist area and his, uh, you know, ab area, but, uh, or I, he doesn't really have an ab, but his belly area. <laughs> It kind of sticks out. From what I recall, cell it's mostly green and black. That's it. I mean, a bit of it's white with his uh, face and his face area. Um, that's why I still like this. Uh, the purple is not that prominent, but it's there. So that kind of 
yeah, I kind of wish they went with a darker shade of purple. I mean, you st still have those vivid colored purples, like the rich purple. Oh, but uh, they went with this. Oh, well. But yeah, other than that, um, let me show Goku here. Goku is right here. Uh, uh, well, he's not as tall as Cell. Uh, Cell is supposed to be you know, quite tall. But still, he's not that menacing uh, compared to <laughs> what we would like him to be. Although, something tells me that what we remember Cell as is like he bulked up like when he's like that weakened version when they're supercharged up um you know muscles a little bit built here it will, will be great to see that like an awakened perfect cell that's the one we're waiting for but yeah apparently not on this <laughs> it's just a reissue it's great for those who, who missed out on the first release now here's your chance to get it again and especially if you've been getting the the perfect uh or sorry the premium color edition or just call it the PC versions so yeah, that's the way to go other than that let me just uh, put Goku aside here and uh, this guy here now what I've been uh, telling my uh, friends or my viewers who have been asking you know what should I go for and I've recommend them just to get the figure right standard now this is the mold kit that you have to assemble and I think it's just uh, great it, like just compare it with the figure arts Goku is big and menacing and that's what you kind of want to go for now figure eye standard there they don't scale with the figure eyes uh, they're a bit bigger the mold kits are bigger than the figures but still I think this is the way to go and looking at that purple they nailed it on this one I want it in that color the darker shade of purple it it doesn't really stick out like this guy here so, uh, yeah, I've, I really recommend getting the kit. Uh, Kit-wise, I already did a review on this one. Uh, it's fun to build it, and the way they've engineered how to get those speckles here. Uh, it's basically another plastic underneath to have that. It's just a great way to do it. Yeah, Before, they would just give you a bunch of stickers, which could be very annoying. And this one, uh, there's no paint on it at all. It's just everything in you know, plastic, and it's great. After you build it, you have a nice uh, figure to have. So yeah. Um, other than that, uh, I could do a quick articulation test, just you know, for the sake of the review. <laughs> uh, but it is very identical to the, f the old one. And I think what else I want to point out? I I've noticed this. There's a knob mark on the wing. It's the same as the old style. It's the way they've been manufactured this, and they have to cut it out, and someone has to build the figure. Also, the back side of the wing, um, it's a bit different. Uh, I mean, you still have that shiny speckle, the black paint, which is quite nice on both versions. Although, this particular version has a bit of a, a, a hint of blue or purple. Uh, it's just a different. This is uh, quite black. This one, it's a little, there's a little bit of a shade different. It's a bit more metallic in a sense too, but uh, you know both of them are quite nice and shiny. So yeah, a little different with the old style. So uh, other than that, let's do a quick uh, articulation. You got your neck here, fairly nice. You got your shoulder joint. You got a hinge on top, and let's see. Yep, it does move a little bit. Although, oh, okay, so it's one of those ball joint and that same joint is where the hinge is connected to so it's kind of connected there you get your bicep swivel you get your elbow bend seems like you're getting yeah it's supposedly double jointed although you have a separate knee armor or sorry elbow armor <laughs> and a part of the certain sections of it he got that the purple thing so they have that then you have your abdomen area, it's ball jointed. Although you have a tendency to kind of pop him out and make him a bit taller, but yeah. Uh, actually, you might think, oh, why don't I just swap out the purple? Like, use the old purple in this one. It might work, but just seeing how the black side here is, 
has the purple on it, it's not gonna work. I need to really just paint up all the purple joints, and to do that, that's that's on its own the feet that to do it. <laughs> it's I don't have that skill to, to paint uh, figures. Anyways, uh, moving on, you got your waist here. You can turn them to the side, which is fairly good. We got your wrist joint. What else? We get your knee, double jointed, separate knee armor, which is great. You get your tie swivel here. And you got your ankle joint, which you can slightly tilt, I guess. And you got your toe joint as well. So uh, the ankle is a bit restricted, but it's there. Not too bad. And you got your wings here. There uh, seems to be a bull joint there. Yep. You move aside. This uh, tail here, it's, well, it's not supposed to be, but yeah. Overall, a great figure. Just the bit purple for me kind of sticks out, but uh, he's more of a sleek, uh, yeah, sleek design cell. I mean, it's still good if you want to have your Dragon Ball cell figure. It's still a nice figure. I mean, you can do a lot of cool poses with him, and I'm still happy, uh, you know, getting him. I have two cells now. Maybe I can have the other ones like an after image or something of that, or just having two cells. <laughs> You know, despite, uh, yeah, it's the same bone, it's still a nice uh, figure to have. And, uh, yeah, I, again, it's great for those who missed out on the first one. And that's pretty much it uh, for the review for Cell. Again, got my From Thoughts of Hobby. Provide the link down below if you're looking to get one. And that's about it. Got questions? Let me know. So until then, this is Meats. Thanks for watching.